Hello, hello, I'm Dakota May, and welcome back to the Minecraft world. It is a gorgeous day in the world today, and I have a slight little bit of a confession to make. You see, I was, I was gonna, you know, be responsible and do stuff, you know, connecting the world together, like, <laughs> like the, has been the whole point and like we've been talking about and planning and actually executing rather beautifully I think but um instead I kind of got seized by a burst of creativity and I designed something fun instead so <laughs> this new build this is not really a connecting things together sort of build this is like a brand new going to revitalize this whole area kind of build so what I'm thinking is we're going to have to flatten all of this out, cover up this big old hole here, uh, remove the mushrooms, remove the trees. Like there's going to be quite a bit of prep work here to get this project in place, uh, flatten the whole area. And yeah, I, I want, I, <laughs> I kind of designed a Zeppelin. And so now we need an airstrip where the zeppelin can come in and land and then of course you know to to build the actual zeppelin but i i'm just i'm really really excited about this build and i think having it here near the uh sledge pit is actually going to make a little bit of sense because like in the back of my mind i've always kind of considered the sledge pit to be like this like industrial business sort of thing. And if they're creating sludge and selling sludge, then they're gonna need a way to transport the sludge and export the sludge because I don't want my little town to be full of sludge. So <laughs> how about a Zeppelin with an airstrip? That It just makes sense. It furthers the story of the world. And I think this is gonna be a really, really fun build too. So, ah. Oh, Let's get to it. Let's get this area prepped so that we can get to work. So I did some flattening off camera. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I know it's a meme, but um, yeah, this, this whole bit, this was pretty boring and I didn't really think you guys needed to see it. But yes, I'm thinking the Zeppelin will fly in over here. We'll put the airstrip going along this way here all the way down to the end. So like it's... I mean, it's a sizable area, but it's definitely not going to be like a one-to-one -one ratio with a, you know, what a real life airstrip looks like, but that's okay. I think, you know, we just need enough to have the indication and this is still going to be a pretty large project. Like this, this is definitely a fairly large area, llama for scale. <laughs> But yes, I'm, I'm thinking, you know, it, it'll be really nice to have like those cliffs behind terraformed and have the whole thing just looking all shiny and new and gorgeous and yeah. <laughs> oh gosh, yes. So, um, yeah, I, I don't, I don't really know what else to say here other than one thing I do need to figure out, though, is how to get the slime up here. Because if that's what we're exporting, if we're exporting slime, then there needs to be some sort of ramp or path or something to come up here to where the airstrip is actually going to be. Um, yeah, I'm not really sure how that's going to work out. I'll figure it out. Um, that sounds like a tomorrow problem. <laughs> For right now, for right now, I'm just going to focus on getting the airstrip into place because I think I need to have the airstrip positioned so that I can position the Zeppelin so that it can look like it's coming in for a landing, if that makes sense. And with a whole bunch of concrete powder, we now have an airstrip. <laughs> Hooray! Oh, this area is, it's starting it's it's starting to resemble the picture that I had in my head. This is one of the things about Minecraft is that, you know, when you have an idea in your head, sometimes you got to work on it for a couple of hours before it finally starts to even sort of resemble what you had in your head. And this was definitely one of those projects, you know, it, it took me about an hour to get things flattened out, chop down all the trees, and then 
this little bit here. Oh yes, and I built this path to come down here too. So my thought with this is that they can, oops. <laughs> didn't mean to fall off. Anyway, uh, my thought here was that they can uh, use the crane to get the slime out of the sludge pit and then they can drop it off on this little ledge right here. And then uh, workers or, you know, whomever can then haul the slime up the staircase up to the airstrip. And then we'll be able to, um, on this like um, blackstone patch here along yeah, along here. Uh, we'll be able to put like empty pallets and uh, piles of crates that look like they're ready to get loaded up onto the Zeppelin. And I just think it's going to have a nice little, I mean, not like a super industrial feel to it because that's not really my build style, but it'll have like this kind of like quaint turn of the century kind of industrial feel to it where it, it feels, you know, a little bit industrial, a little bit old school, a little bit not quite exactly modern. <laughs> that's kind of the feel that I'm going for anyway. I, I tend to prefer things that aren't like enormously industrial. So I do think this, this will probably have a a little bit of a quaint vibe to it, but I'm thinking the Zeppelin needs to go right about there. <laughs> so let's hop into a time lapse and get it done. my gosh I love this build I really I don't <laughs> I don't really know how to express how much fun I had designing this and building it you know it's one of those things where when you just have a burst of creativity sometimes you just gotta go with it and I did that this time and I think it turned out so so well and I'm really really happy although there is one thing that I do want to check and that is whether or not it's sinks into the cliff and yeah it it okay that that's what I was concerned about so 
I knew this was going to be a problem. The stone and andesite body of the ship, it's, um, it's blending into the, to the stone cliff in the background. And yeah, I, I was afraid of that. That's okay. That's okay. No worries. I did consider changing the block palette of the ship and I actually had it dark prismarine at one point, but I decided I didn't like that as much. So I thought, let's try tackling this problem another way. And so I picked up some terraforming supplies and we're going to make this cliff not be a whole bunch of solid stone. We're going to make it look differently so that instead of the zeppelin kind of sinking back into the cliff, it stands out because it's markedly different because the cliff has been terraformed. And it's time. I spent some time working on uh, texturing up the cliff and getting some little ledges and such in place. And that means that it's time for the best part, which is scattering around some plant life. <laughs> it's definitely my favorite part anyway. I hope you guys enjoy it. I don't, there's just something about placing flowers and plants that I just... I find it very relaxing and almost kind of therapeutic. It's probably weird to say, but <laughs> it is what it is. So maybe a little bit of bone meal here to help finish things off. Oh, well, you can leave that poppy there, I guess. And I'm gonna need some more bone meal. <laughs> Can't run out of bone meal, that would be bad. Okay, let's hop down here. There we go, nice tall grass. Okay, let's see what this looks like now. Ooh, <laughs> that is definitely making progress. Okay, okay, yes. I see we're, we're definitely getting there. Okay, so I think the next thing, like obviously I'll have to add a bunch more flowers onto various, various bits of grass and dirt, but I also need to add some leaves in because I think my guess is that it's actually going to be the leaves that really make the zeppelin stand out against the cliff. So if I can, <laughs> I'm so clumsy at using scaffolding. Anyway, um. If I can get the leaves to be, um, I think sufficiently vibrant would be a good way to phrase it. If I can get the leaves to like stand out essentially, um, to, to look natural, but also stand out at the same time, then I think the Zeppelin is going to really stand out from the cliff just simply because of the color contrast with the cobblestone, the leaves, the dirt, the flowers, like all of that is going to be super contrasty. And this is definitely coming along. Okay. Yes, I like that. Okay, so yes, I think I'm on the right track here. I just need to do more of this, like a lot more of this. <laughs> but let's take a look here and see, because we should, I think, we should already see, oh, this is a terrible angle. <laughs> let's get a better angle. If we can see the Zeppelin, oh yeah. Oh yeah, that's already standing out better. Okay, perfect, yay! Okay, I'm gonna keep working on this and I will bring you guys back in after I plant a bunch more plants. So I was placing a bunch of plants and I randomly decided we need a waterfall because I mean, why not? <laughs> so I put one in and I think that looks rather nice. And once again, the blue will be an excellent contrast to the underside of the zeppelin so yes i'm <laughs> got more plants to place now so um yeah we're <laughs> we're gonna be placing some plants but i have a slight confession um i kind of think based on how long this bit of cliff that i've already done how long this is taking me i don't think we're gonna get to the whole cliff today which I know that might be a little bit disappointing, but well, um, you know, no build is ever truly complete anyway, so we may as well celebrate its incompleteness. 
Um, yeah. Anyway, I'm basically, I'm running short on time and I need to decorate the airstrip yet. And I really, like, I feel like I could either spend my time working on this cliff face and have the airstrip looking, um, very undecorated or I can decorate the airstrip leave the cliff face undone and then have like basically you can it like the whole build at that point will be complete enough that you can get a really good sense of what I have in my head at least that's the goal <laughs> but there we go nice flowers in this section so that should wrap up this little bit here but let's grab some stone because there's a little too much dirt, I want to tone some of this down a little bit. So if we remove a little bit here, then we can just replace that dirt with stone, keep the shape intact, and take that out too. There we go. See? I just think that looks so much better. <laughs> oh, and then this other big chunk here, this needs to be addressed as well. So yes, um, basically I feel like this this build is <laughs> like many builds this one kind of got away from me a little bit and is starting to take way more time than i expected so it's time to start deciding what gets left undone so yeah i i really like how this cliff has turned out i think it turned out brilliantly and we're definitely gonna have to finish this waterfall pool instead of <laughs> just leaving the water hanging out um uh, maybe like hmm like that yeah that's a nice shape I think I like that okay so yes um yeah we're just gonna gonna do a couple more finishing touches on this section of the cliff face in order to get things you know so you can tell what it's supposed to look like when it's like done done and then we'll work on um turning the podzol poop patches where I grew spruce trees <laughs> we'll work on turning that into something that actually looks decent instead of just being podzol clumps <laughs> So my favorite method of dealing with podzol poop is actually to swing my shovel around a bit randomly and just replace blocks. Um, and I've already done this once with grass blocks and now I'm going over it a second time with coarse dirt. Um, just, you know, because I mean, coarse dirt is a, is a really good, it's a good texture that, you know, is going to complement this and, and look really nice, I think. <laughs> I hope. <laughs> anyway, so yes, I'm, I'm just digging this stuff up and putting coarse dirt in. And yeah, it's, it's, you know, yes, it's a little tedious, but sometimes you got to do the boring parts so that you can get to the part where the build looks really nice. And I hope. <laughs> I hope this is going to be worth it for sure. But let's just pop in the last couple of blocks here and this should wrap this section up there. There we go. Okay, so yes, basically, yes, I know this doesn't look like super amazing great right now, but what we're going to do is we are going to spice it up with a little bit of bush action and some other foliage. So, um... Yeah, natural ground like basically never looks good until you add other stuff to it. <laughs> but yes, oh, you can already tell. Oh yes, it's already starting to come together. Perfect. And then if we add in some some leaves and take out these flowers. I don't like the I don't like the bright colors. Like this is an airstrip, right? This isn't supposed to be like enormously vibrant. It's supposed to be kind of a little, you know, like the the plants are, you know, choking on toxic fumes a little bit. <laughs> they they exist, but they're maybe not doing super great. Um, then there. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Oh, you can already get a sense of what I'm going for here. Lots of plants, lots of bushes, and maybe sprinkle some ferns in there too. But yes, this this is definitely the, the vibe that I'm going for. I'm going to go ahead and put bushes and other plants around the rest of the podzol poop. And then that should be very, very close to wrapping this build up. 
and with a little bit of foliage spread around in addition to some uh, stone pressure plates and buttons, I have to say this area is looking far more polished and done and I am so excited with how this turned out. Like, don't, don't look at the unfinished cliff. Don't just... <laughs> don't look at that part and don't look at the the horrible tower that needs to be addressed look 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 at don't look at that nope nope there look at that yes <laughs> i love how this turned out i just i think it looks so good i love the zeppelin itself the airstrip is looking really good ah uh, yes but we do need a couple more little details these won't take very long to do though so if we just pop down some campfires and hit them with a shovel. <laughs> there we go. Ah, nice. Look at that. Pallets. What can I say? Campfires are one of the best blocks to have ever been added to Minecraft. They're so useful. You can use them to make bridges or um, smoke or like all kinds of other stuff. So yes, here we go. Oops, I placed this one the wrong way. We need to get that turned around. There we go. Problem solved. <laughs> okay, so yeah, there's the pallets. And then I also went ahead and got some barrels and chests so that we can just put together some little, little crate piles that will look like it's some cargo ready to be loaded up waiting for the Zeppelin to arrive. So there we go. And... Let's get a couple of these little chests just scattered here and there. Nice. And maybe one on top as well. There we go. Ah, beautiful. That is, that's a, that's a lot of slime right there. <laughs> Especially if it's slime blocks rather than slime balls, right? Like, that, that would be so much slime. It is a very productive slime farm though. I, I have to admit, I, I have slime coming out my ears and I need to figure out what to do with all of my slime. But if we just place a couple more chests here and there, right there, and let's change this. Make that one a double. There we go. Oh, that should be the last finishing touch to kind of make this area look complete, except don't look at the tower because <laughs> the tower needs to be rebuilt. I, I, the, the tower was temporary when I first built the sludge pit, um, because I was running out of time at the end of that episode, just like I am now. And, um, yeah, that, that needs to be redone. But the rest of it, excluding those little bits, I think the rest of it just looks amazing and there's still plenty left to do on this build where like, I mean, realistically, that could be like a whole nother episode. There's so much left to do. There's the undersides as well, actually. Um, yeah, the I just put grass over it and um, yeah, there's, <laughs> there's a bit of a grass pancake going on down there and um, I didn't close off the edges. Uh, yeah. Uh, no build is ever truly complete, but that is going to have to be it for me today, you guys. If you made it this far into the video, thank you so very much for watching. It really does mean a lot to me that you took the time to watch the whole video. If you enjoyed it, please consider leaving a like, commenting, subscribing, all of that fun YouTube-y stuff. Thanks again for watching, guys, and ta-ta for now!